Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome to another video from gorgeous Washington. Today I thought I would show you all of the crystals that I brought with me on this trip. As you may or may not know, I recently left my job and my home. I put my stuff into storage and packed up my cargo van and now I am traveling full time until I figure out what I'm doing next. As so, I have a lot of crystals and it was, it was kind of hard to pack them all up, but I wanted to show you the things that I felt like I had to bring with me because I only could bring like a small amount, you know, I'm living in a cargo van. So I have this box of them here. And then I also have, um, a little bowl that I keep like my jewelry and small pieces in and they both kind of sit out so I can grab the crystals whenever I want. I also recently got a new crystal book, so I thought we could look some stuff up in here. It's um, color coded. It's a really interesting book. I feel like a lot of crystal books just kind of say the same thing, but when I saw this one, I was like, ooh, this is new. I like new. So the first one I'm gonna pick up here is my Rhodonite. It's an extremely gemmy piece of rhodonite. It's so pretty. I felt like I had to bring this one with me and oh, look at this gemmy bit right here. That's such nice quality. So I this is one of my favorite crystals. I feel like I carry it around all the time, so it was one that I definitely wanted to pick up and bring. Ooh, just got cold out here. Like, really cold. Okay, so one thing that's popping out to me that this book says about Rhodonite is that it heals wounds, whether they are physical or emotional, and help to ease shock anxiety, or mental overload. I was living on pure adrenaline for like three weeks. I was barely eating, thinking, anything, so. <sighs> Place a piece beside the bed to soothe the mind and improve sleep quality. All right, the next one I brought is my black moonstone, and I love this piece of black moonstone because it looks like there's a tree growing in it. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the trees reflecting in the tree. It's so pretty. Black Moonstone is great for your intuition. Um, I also find it to be a little bit grounding and soothing. I did grab this the other day when I was like really emotional. I've been, I've had a lot of severe ups and downs on this trip, which I think is to be expected. But the other day I was like so upset I couldn't even like search for the stone I wanted, which was lipidolite. And I found this and I just, I grabbed onto it and I couldn't let go. And I love black moonstone. It's very comforting to me. Let's see what the book says about black moonstone. It might not be in here. You have to excuse the way I look also. Like I know I'm breaking out and I'm a mess. I've been living in a van. <laughs> it's not in here. Moving on, flower agate. This is another one that's just really soothing. I remember when I bought it though, reading that it was really good for entrepreneurs and um, like manifestation, especially in business. I don't know if this is gonna be in the book either, but we're gonna see. So that just might be one of the things about this book. It might, I mean, it probably just has the more known stones, which is fine. My piece of lapidolite and pink tourmaline. This thing gets held and used a lot. I, I actually swear that when I got it, it was so much bigger than this. Like, I think it was a lot bigger than this. I think that it, like, over time, I've just held it so much that I've just worn it away. And the combination of this is so wonderful. Like, I love lapidolite so much, but the pink tourmaline in it just makes it even, like, better for me. <sighs> this is one of my favorite crystals. 
it's like so we know that lipidolite is really soothing because it has natural lithium silica in it and pink tourmaline is great it's a stone of the heart it promotes self-love all those things but like holding this to me it does all those things but it's also just like like nurturing it's comforting like i just feel like i'm fine when i have it there's a rainbow in this which is kind of crazy because this isn't the kind of crystal that you might expect to see like a rainbow in i guess it's more of like a piece of mica so pretty these are all of the like bigger sized stones that i brought it's my piece of malachite and chrysocoba I do feel like I need to look this up to see why I brought it. I don't touch malachite a lot, but whenever I do, man, I really love it and I really feel it. It's protective, increases your personal power and self-confidence. It enables you to follow the true feelings of your heart. It acts as a shield against electromagnetic disturbances. Okay, I have to say some things. First of all, following the true feelings of your heart like absolutely obviously that's like the lane that i'm in right now and i just wanted to mention that i just reread the alchemist which is such a great book and if you're in any kind of place in life where you're kind of questioning a choice read the alchemist or you can listen to it on youtube on an audiobook it's very it's very like simple and it's very illuminating it's such a good story also about the electromagnetic electromagnetic disturbances this morning i was sitting in my van and i was thinking about i have such a lack of pain in my body right now like i usually have pain in my like right shoulder all the time and it is completely gone and in the past few months like before I came on this trip, I was thinking a lot about, um, like Wi-Fi, especially Bluetooth, because I was working somewhere where I was wearing a Bluetooth, um, like earbud situation hours and hours and hours a day. And I always wore it on the side. And I just, I remember thinking that like those waves were so bad for me. But now, after being out here for a few weeks and not being, like, I spent maybe, like, two nights in hotels where there would have been, like, you know, Wi-Fi. But out here, there's absolutely not, obviously. And I just, I feel like my body can tell, and I feel like I really like it. Being in nature is just such good medicine. I brought my piece of seraphonite and in my head I was like this is not a road crystal like it's probably gonna break but as I was talking about with my pain I was actually using this a lot right before I left and I think that when I was packing up my other crystals this just didn't make it in the box because I was using it so much and I ended up packing it it wasn't like uh this has to come with me it just kind of happened like that but with all things in life it was probably supposed to happen like that let's see if it's in the book it is <sighs> it opens the crown chakra at the top of the skull facilitating deeply spiritual experiences it helps you redefine your sense of self in line with the universe okay next i brought my bloodstone wand and I absolutely love that it is Rasta colored. Bloodstone is one of my favorite healing crystals. <sighs> and I just had to have it. And I've also had more... I've had more spiritual experiences with Bloodstone than any other crystal besides Moldavite. Love it. I brought this piece of black tourmaline. I am a huge lover of black tourmaline. And I have a lot of pieces of haystack tourmaline, which is a little bit more like splintery. And I was going to bring a couple of them, but I was like, again, these are not road crystals. So I put them into storage, but I do have this guy. And I have my favorite piece of black tourmaline. I have this thing too, because sometimes in the morning I hang this in the van and it just puts rainbows everywhere. 
Um, and this is just where I have all my jewelry as well. Lots of bracelets, rings. This is my favorite piece of black tourmaline. It was a gift and I love that it looks like a little castle and it's a very gemmy, high quality piece. Oh, look how pretty. So pretty. Oh my gosh. I love this thing. So those are my black tourmalines. I find them to be very grounding for myself. Like mentally, I'm always... And I love black tourmaline. Oh my gosh, I just remembered there's another crystal down in the van. Which is not a road crystal, so I have it in its own little bag. Oh my god, there's a hummingbird right here. Um, the other morning I woke up, my van's like 10 feet that way. And the other morning I woke up and I looked out of the window up on this hill. And there was a deer walking around. And there are hummingbirds all over the place. Oh my gosh. Anyways. Oh, but I did bring my smoky quartz tower and it is just locked away in there somewhere for protection, but I had to have it because as grounding stone, smoky quartz is also like my fave. I also brought my Buddha made of obsidian. Um, obsidian is another of my favorites. It's very good for keeping other people's energy off of you, which... <sighs> And anytime I look at a Buddha, I just feel like the hummingbird was back. My Priscilla Bluestone Green Man had to bring him. The wisdom and peace that this has in it. I feel like most of these crystals, I'm trying to calm myself down and bring myself peace. Okay, Sarah, another really peaceful stone. I want to see if this is in that book though. I, I don't use this enough. This, the energy of this stone is like, like imagine hearing the most beautiful music you can imagine like ethereal classical the most beautiful melody you've ever heard like that's the feeling i feel like the quesara gives me it's not in here which is to be expected okay this stone i didn't bring to calm myself down i remember when i got this piece of tibetan quartz which i love the energy of it is so cool, but I was going through a period when I was really, really trying to open my third eye <laughs> and I read that double terminated crystals. Was it quartz or all crystals? Something about the double termination, placing it in front of your front eye creates this kind of like push and pull energy. I mean, I definitely feel it when I do it. Absolutely. That was a lot actually. I love watching the pine cones fall here because it takes like a whole minute for them to hit the ground. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but like when I picked this up, I thought about that and I was like, I should start doing some more like weird spiritual stuff that I haven't had like time for or the capacity for. So that's why I brought this guy. This piece of Bahia, Bahia Jasper. It's a beautiful piece of Jasper. It's... The shape of this is really soothing to hold, but also I just, I, this is one of the ones that like when I was packing up, I saw this and I put it to the side and I'm like, you're coming with me. Those are all the big ones. We're getting into some smaller ones now. This beta quartz, I want to call it. It's just a piece of quartz, um, in this specific shape. This sat on my desk when I was at home. So it's one that like I absentmindedly pick up a lot and I just 
really love the shape of it and I just like being around it. I don't know if I've ever had like a specific experience with it or even if I feel like it has a specific energy, but I just like being around this. And I think it's just beautiful and different. It's almost like an iceberg. It's so pretty. I also brought this Moss Agate Merkaba. And for a lot of these, I just, I don't know why I picked them up. When I was packing things up, I was just making piles. And a lot of these, I'm just like, you, 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 you. No rhyme or reason, really. This jade, I just... I keep meaning to make a bracelet out of this jade. I want to wear it all the time. I love jade. I love the idea of jade. <sighs> Someday I want like so many big pieces of jade. I don't know. I just love it. Let's look up jade in the book. Calms the nervous system and eases over excitement. It is linked emotionally with the heart chakra, enabling the sharing of unconditional love with all beings. I did bring a few pieces of moldavite. Not all of it. Some of it's packed away. I know, it's really sad. Really sad. First of all, I have a medicine bag in the van also, and I'm pretty positive that my first ever piece of moldavite is in there. I'm very attached to him. But I also brought this lady. To me, she's very soothing, healing, comforting. She looks really shiny in this light. And I brought this guy. He is more energetic. He looks a little bit like a pickle. Love him. I also brought this guy. God, I... I can tell that these are all getting a little bit dinged up. I'm gonna have to rethink my storage here. Oh, I also have quite a few pieces of this magnetic hematite. I bought it for another project at home, but then I was thinking like it would be great to go around the van and put this like as a grid, like for protection. I just wish I would have thought of that before I put the walls up. Like this could be behind the insulation. That would be so nice. I also have my Moldavite ring. I brought my diamond ring, I brought uh, my carnelian ring, my rutilated quartz ring that I made, and this is my grandma's ruby ring that I love wearing. I have this arrowhead that was given to me recently as a gift. Isn't it beautiful? I've never had an arrowhead before. I also have a little piece of muakite in here. This is actually the piece of muakite that I had um, at home. I had a Buddha who had one hand out and for the past, I don't know, year or so, he's been holding this piece. So, and I just, I really love this piece of muakite. It's so beautiful. I also brought a piece of rhodochrosite. I just love it. I needed it. My snake skin agate. It has a little snake in it. Love him. This is a rock that I found. I don't know if it's anything, but I also love rocks. Oh, I brought this rough piece of emerald. Beauty, beauty. I brought my fairy stone, or sometimes called a goddess stone. And I actually saw at one of the crystal stores I was at recently, I saw a bunch of these, which I feel like sometimes they're a little hard to find, but this store had a huge palette of them. I also have my lapidolite necklace here. I've been wearing it a lot. Is that all? Oh, I forgot to show you I brought this little moldavite heart. And I might wrap him. I also brought um, like a thing of crystals to wrap and two pendants and stuff like that. I might, might eventually work on that a little bit. I have a lot of projects to do, but it's hard to do them in the dark. I need, 
I'll figure it all out. Well, that's it. I thought I was going to run out of light. I was kind of rushing, and that's everything I brought. Besides my other bracelets. I didn't bring all of my bracelets, but I've been wearing my Amazonite Angelite Shungite that also has a piece of jade and a petalite on it. And I have... This one with lapidolite, lapis, jade. This one is rose quartz and angelite. I have this one that has citrine, smoky quartz, clear quartz, amethyst, and lava beads. Another angelite. And when I was in Arizona, I bought this kunzite bracelet. And I've been wearing it every day. Let's look up kunzite. Eases nervous stress, emotional tension, and anxiety. It promotes self-confidence and joy. It supports the heart through new emotional connections, encourages enjoyment of these experiences. It dissolves resistance to new ideas and directions. It enables life to flow and develop. Like I said, I've been a little crazy. I've been a little ungrounded. I'm a little bit of a mess, but that's life, right? This is where I'm at right now, and I don't hate it. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I promise I will have more crystal content. I will have a lot more travel content, and who knows what else. Nobody knows. I don't know what's going on. But I'll let you know when I figure it out. I hope you have such a great day. I love you all. I'll see you next time.